Hey, this is Richard with the Magellan TRX product team, and we're going to do a short video tutorial on how to download the Digital Globe satellite imagery. So these steps that we'll cover today, uh, they take place after we've already purchased the Digital Globe satellite imagery subscription from the MagellanGPS.com website. So now we're back on the TRX-7. Uh, we are connected to Wi-Fi and we're starting on the TRX dashboard screen. From there, I want to check that you know I have the satellite imagery. I want to see what it looks like, so I'm going to click on the map button, and that's going to open up our map. And uh, you know we're looking at the 2D topographic map here, but over here on the right we have the map options button. When I select that. I have an option to switch to satellite imagery. Now, if we didn't have the satellite imagery subscription, we hadn't purchased it, it would inform us to go to MagellanGPS.com to make that purchase. Since we have purchased it, when we click on satellite imagery, then we actually should see the satellite imagery start loading right away. So in map options, we have this option down here in the bottom left to save map. So if we click on that, uh, the map's going to change to a base map view, but if we want to see it on satellite, we switch back to that. Over here on the right, we have the option to name the map. We click on that, the keyboard comes up, we can type whatever we like. Uh, we've got a little bit of information about uh, the map, so uh, our, we do have a daily limit of 2 gigabytes per day. And then up here, it's going to tell us the actual file size. Uh, for the area and then the area in square miles so we don't necessarily want to download right here but we might want to download satellite imagery for a trail that we're going to go on in the future so maybe I'll just move over here into the Daniel Boone National Forest that looks like a cool trail and I could download the satellite imagery for this trail so it looks like the daily limit is going to I'm, I'm within the daily limit I'm at 1.6 gigs um, so that would be fine to download but if I wanted to get more of the force and I zoom out then I'm actually going to get a notification that up oh, I'm 3.8 gigs over uh, my daily limit so that's why we recommend uh, you know zooming in on the area that you know that you're going to be on whether it's a trail or a campsite and and pick that area so again i might zoom in uh you know if i zoom in right on the trail and I go ahead and I hit save, then it's gonna start saving the map uh, for that particular area. So another way that we can download our satellite imagery onto the TRX-7 is with an option in our settings menu uh, that automatically saves imagery around any trails that we save to our wish list. So from here, we would go back into our dashboard. We'd go into settings. We'd scroll down the list a little bit and we'd click on map save. So here in the map save menu, we see two options. We have automatic satellite map save. And then we have this uh, option here below it that says save maps. When we click on save maps, we'll see the map that we saved earlier um, or any of your maps that you saved. When we click on that, we'll see the satellite imagery for that area and a bounding box of the area that was saved um, and if we didn't need that anymore and we wanted to free up the space on our TRX-7 we click that pencil in the bottom left corner that's the edit button and the checkbox becomes available I'll select that I'll hit the trash can and it asks me if I want to delete that and now I can free up that memory on the TRX-7 again uh, the other option back here map save was the automatic satellite map save and there's a checkbox there so we want to go ahead and check that with the automatic map save option selected now anytime that I select a trail from the map or search for trails uh, in the search menu 
when I save those searches to my wish list, it will automatically download satellite imagery around that trail, making sure that when I go to that trail, uh, maybe this weekend or in you know a month from now, that I have the satellite imagery around that area and, and I can use it at that time without Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard and I'm just gonna do a search. We'll search nearby. And we will select one of these uh, trails here. And then when we select save, we'll see that it's saving it to our wish list. And then it starts downloading the satellite imagery for the map. And it's highlighted the area here around the trail that it's downloading the imagery for. So we looked at the two ways that you can save the satellite imagery to your TRX-7 with your Digital Globe satellite imagery subscription. Now, the satellite imagery in order to download it, we need Wi-Fi, so we always recommend that you uh, use this as a pre-planning tool at home before your trips. So use a strong, consistent Wi-Fi connection. Give yourself a little bit of time to find the areas that you want to go to and download those. Uh, so make those selections. You can do it uh, by selecting the area manually, the first step that we saw, or you can uh, have the confidence that you're going to have those maps when for all of the trails that you save into your wish list.